Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 150 of Photo Critiques. And in this episode, I'm pleased to critique the work of Jasim. I hope I pronounced your name right. And in this first picture, I like this a lot. I like the color. Very well done. Very, very nice focus. It was 1 1 60th of a second f of 10 ISO 400. Um, so very, very nicely done. The composition, I like it's kind of a study of light and color. Um, I'm not so sure about this over here. That's kind of another archway that's kind of cut off. And um, I think actually you could probably have got in a little tighter. And um, see if I could do it. Something like that. Um, I think that you know might be even a more compelling image it lose that stuff was a little distracting that was over on the um, right there and this I think helps um, narrow it down and, and uh, give us all a little more tighter look at what was there you know what we want to look at which is the guy knocking on the door so it's a real nice shot though I like this shot too this uh you know the process some type of black and white processing um, so it gets a lot of grain you can see there's a lot of noise in the shot it's one one hundredth of a second ISO 100. Uh, again, this happened in the previous critique too. I'm getting these weird numbers here. Zero millimeters at f of zero. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but I like it. I like the uh, shot. The flamingos are interesting. The looks like probably it was a hazy day. The um, background, the sky probably wasn't very um, impressive. So you did what you needed to do to, with the processing to make it a compelling image. I think you did a really nice job. There is like this little dot right here. It's probably a bird flying off in the distance. I would clone that out. There might be a couple here too. Just clone those out because it just looks like uh, specs, you know, on the um, on my monitor even. So if you print that too, it'll look like dirt on the print. There might be a sensor spot right there too. So you might just clone those out. It's a nice shot. I like the lighting. I like the, uh, I like just, you know, the shot. I think it's a really cool shot. This is a nice shot too. Got a kind of a, a gridded light just on uh, the man's face, and it shows you know some nice uh, detail on his face. Excellent focus, very tight focus on the man's eyes. Very well done. Very nice portrait. This shot here, uh, it's almost like it would be so compelling because this is such a great movement. You know the the flamingo. I think these are flamingos with the um, the legs just viewed back, the wings out, and the head arched forward. Unfortunately though, the focus is just, it's just too soft. It's just very, very soft. So this is a tough shot to get. You really have to really work on getting the, um, you know, focusing on the flamingo's eyeball, you know, that's the, or the head at the, you know, worst case scenario, the head. Best case scenario, focus right on the eye. And use um, a small enough aperture, it's not really giving me um, I don't think accurate information up here. Uh, one five hundredth of a second ISO two fifty. Uh, we, you know, I don't know what the aperture was. So if you could have um, used, you know, I don't know, probably f eight something like that to get the wingtips um, in focus as well as the body. Uh, this is a really nice idea. I like this shot. I like the way you uh, composed it with the young guy standing over here blowing through the bubbles going off to the right. Um, very well done. It's just over processed. You could see the white glow in his hair. That's just from having clarity really way too high and contrast a little too high. It gives you that effect and it makes his skin look real grungy. You can see how his skin looks real grungy. Now if that's the look you're going for then by all means if that's your style go for it. But just be aware that that typically isn't super popular. Uh, slight grunge is um, good especially in some sports photography nowadays. There's um, actually some plugins for Lightroom that will do it to give you that kind of uh, grunge look. Um, but typically on a young man's face you don't want this kind of grunge look. Also the focus isn't really tight. Um, the previous picture of the man where you had the spotlight on his face that was great focus and as you can see here it's really blurry here. So we really have to uh, tighten up the focus on his eye. 
It's a nice shot. I like the composition. I like how you have it over here and this kind of negative space over here. I do think it's slightly overexposed just by glancing at it. I think if we brought exposure down quite a bit, I think it's um, more compelling of an image. There's um, before and there's after. Before, after. Um, you might even too want to add a vignette on top of that. That'll help um, you know, bring down that glare a little bit. So there's before, after, before, after. Just suggestions. I know a lot of it is personal taste, but I see a lot of what um, sells at art shows and you know, you know these um, craft shows where people have photography and stuff like this will sell. But typically, if it's too bright, they uh, it, the people go for the color, the more darker, more saturated look of the color. This is a nice shot, very good focus and everything. It's just there's not enough light on the light meter. So the um, we need more light on the light meter. It's just a little too dark and muddy. So it's kind of almost backlit. You can see how the man's thumb here has this rim light on it. So there's light coming in from over here. Uh, we need more light right on the front of the meter. And um, typically on product shots like that, you know, it, you'll see this part would be really bright. This is a nice shot. I, you got the focus real good on his eyes on this shot. Uh, really well done. Really nice shot. This is a cool shot too. Neat, you know, got the light behind the dominoes and uh, very um, reflective uh, surface it's on. And it's a really nice shot. Very well done. And um, again, I don't know what the um, aperture was, but we used enough aperture to get all of this in tight focus. So I'm sure it was somewhere more f8 something like that to get all of that in um, in good focus. This is uh, an interesting shot. I don't know what's uh, the event here and this is written you know I don't know in Arabic possibly but it's kind of a cool shot. I don't know you know I think it would be more compelling of a shot if I knew what this said you know if I if I could read that yeah, um, then I'd know more specifically what's going on. The uh, sky, you know, isn't very interesting, but you did a really nice job of having the uh, tree uh, branches come down to obscure that sky and helps everyone look down and where the people are, and then we could see what this stuff says over here. I think that's the last one. Yep, that's the last one. Uh, Jacine, thank you very much for sharing your work with us. I really do appreciate it. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. I'd like to thank everyone that watches all my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you guys have time, go over to my website, anthonymorganti.com. I have all kinds of photography stuff over there. And if you could, if you could go to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate it. That's it for now. I'll talk to you guys soon.